feel like we're at a resort in Cancun or something. I feel like we're at a crack den, actually. You want some crack? We're 310, aren't we? Now we go on bike. Wait, 309? Oh, 310. 1738, no, 7462. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh. Yeah, my guy. Hey! I feel like people didn't leave yet. <laughs> yes. The masturbatorium? <laughs> the masturbatorium. This is such a weird room. <laughs> That's your bedroom, so. Boom. Bing bang boom. This prudence in the room. <laughs> All right, we did it. All right. Sick. They have Everclear. <laughs> Bet. <laughs> Whoop! Whoa! Whoa! Dude, it came out on yeah, fire there. That was sick. <laughs> Beast. <laughs> what we got? Rebel Bachi? No. <laughs> Pure flamingo blood. Good God. Spill it. Let it let it become your blood. Become one with the blood. Pure flamingo blood, baby. Oh, oh we creeping, baby. Spin move. You can't handle that. You can't handle it. You ain't UFS. Oh, 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 oh. What a good boy. What a good boy. Hey, you're so cute. I'm looking for my friends. Oh, I found my friends. Not two friends. Keep this on. Yeah, this is crazy. No new markings. Not a scratch off. <laughs> Not a scratch. Didn't spend any money. Only had good times. Didn't get turned down by 47 girls. This is unbelievable. This place is gonna suck. True. last night my flight kept getting delayed because there's bad storms in new york i ended up falling asleep at like 6 30 p.m oh my face is so swollen right now yeah i went to sleep at like 6 30 and i woke up like an hour ago so, <laughs> so i've been up since like 4 30 but since i'm just getting up at 5 30 anyways i figured i'd wake up anyways i'll get more into the trip a little later it's just like too early in the morning i don't want to wake my mom up i'm just gonna start rambling and saying ignorant things so i got some coffee brewing got a package from amazon i'm not even sure what this is to be honest Creatine. 
I ran out of creatine like a month ago. I haven't been taking it, but you should be taking creatine. Five grams a day. Cutting, bulking, doesn't matter. Doesn't get you fat. Eating too much food gets you fat, not creatine. Creatine is good for the muscles. No matter if you're trying to lose weight or gain weight. It brings water to the muscles. It helps you keep muscle mass while you're losing weight. So don't believe a myth that you're not supposed to be taking creatine while you're cutting. I'm gonna get into some work now. Also, you might have seen in uh, the Texas vlog clip of this, I got a tattoo that is very real. I got a, uh, a sombrero on the back of my arm. I don't know if you guys can even see that. It's kind of shiny because you just put some cream on it. Aquaphor, you always got to put Aquaphor on your tattoos. That is my fourth tattoo. I know a lot of you guys are like, what did you just do? I don't know. We were just having a good time and I got a damn tattoo. I think tattoos are overrated. I mean, in the sense of the seriousness that people have the stigma towards tattoos. And uh, I'm not like anti the man or anything like that. I like, wow, this sounds so dumb. I like pointing out the flaws in society. When people take things too seriously, my sense of humor is like very sarcastic in the sense of if someone's really like OD about something or if someone takes something way too seriously, then I like to combat that. Right, and I like to turn that into like humor and, and sarcasm and kind of, not in like a mean way or anything, and this has not, I mean, I don't know how this came from talking about a tattoo, but the fact people are always like, oh my God, you got a tattoo or whatever, like whatever, dude, like I was in Texas, it was a fun time, I got a tattoo there, three of my other friends got tattoos also, one girl got it here, one of my friends got one here, and another one got one on their back. People, old people are like, oh, you know, that's gonna be there forever, it's like, yeah, sorry, I have a tattoo that's gonna remind me of like one of the best weekends I've had, right, so it's like, I don't know, I kind of just just like the tattoo I wanted to get one back there and then I still am gonna go to the shop probably and get one right here within the next couple of weeks so I figured you guys might have seen that or if you follow me on Instagram then probably saw some of my stories or whatever but I figure I'd share with you so yeah I got a uh, sombrero on the back of my arm that's that I'm going to continue to live my life it's not going to affect my life you know it's funny actually when I went into the tattoo parlor last week if you watched my last vlog the guy was like I was asking him because I wasn't sure this is probably a dumb question but I wasn't sure how tattoos work in terms of like you know you pay per hour right like oh you're gonna have a two hour session you pay a hundred dollars per hour or whatever so I was like what happens if we finish 45 minutes in and you know like this part is is done like can I just get like a random tattoo on my hand that's really small that'll take you like 10 minutes I was pretty sure that's not how that works right it's probably per piece like per tattoo but the dude is like yeah you know what I don't give tattoos on the hand because that's what we call a job stopper in the industry right if you get them on your hands or whatever on your neck or something we don't do that here for personal reasons like your boss might fire you I was gonna be a dick and be like, oh well, I, uh, I work for myself, so I didn't, you know, I didn't say that. But it was just interesting because I didn't know that was like a stigma in the in tattooing. He was like, yeah, you either have to have like a full sleeve or like have a lot of tattoos done. Like the hand is one of the last spots that you actually get work done on. But uh, yeah, it was just interesting, and uh, I really like tattoos. So if you don't have one, the first time when people say that like tattoos are addicting, I could definitely vouch for that. My first one I got was on the thigh. The second one was. Wait, which one did I get second? Oh, the second one was on my arm. Once I got the forearm one, if you guys haven't seen up close and personal, it's a peace sign. It was all downhill from there. I'd wanted one since then, but that was like over a year ago. Then I got one on my back and then this bad boy. And then I'm gonna follow it up with this. So. Yeah, so uh, listen, I got back from Texas. I've been very busy this week doing work, so I haven't been able to film a lot of stuff. But that's going to wrap up the video for this week. I know it's a short one. Next week, I'm kind of going to start the video off with a little bit of a bang, a big move big change for me in my personal life which i'm super excited super excited to share with you guys so make sure you tune in for the next video as always if you enjoyed this one scroll down a little bit hit that button that looks like this or that i forget how these videos turn up again i appreciate the support if you watch this far go like subscribe do what you got to do share i don't care i'll see y'all next saturday